This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. 2008 is coming to an end and the view of the U.S. remains negative in the Middle East. What are the challenges of 2009? And can Obama restore the U.S. image there? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. As the end of 2008 approaches, views of the United States remain negative around the world. In the Middle East, they have become virulent. And when they come home, they will come home in victory. In 2008, George W. Bush boasted in a valedictory speech that the Middle East in 2008 is a freer, more hopeful, and more promising place than it was in 2001. The response to this remark came recently from an Iraqi journalist, Muntadar al-Zaidi, who expressed what some argue is the sentiment of the population of the region by hurling shoes at the U.S. president while yelling, this is a farewell kiss. The question now remains whether the Obama administration might elicit a more positive response from the populace in this part of the world. Can Obama restore the U.S. image in the Middle East? we decided to take a look at some of the most important issues in the region that remain unresolved at the close of 2008. Issues the new U.S. president will have to address. The Palestinian-Israeli conflict remains unresolved despite a new abandoned promise by the Bush administration that a democratic Palestinian state will emerge side by side with Israel by the end of Bush's term. With an election looming in Israel early in 2009 and major differences remaining between Fatah and Hamas, President Obama will almost certainly need to be fully engaged early on to make any progress. Many voices in the Arab world remain skeptical about his ability to broach this sensitive area even-handedly. His last visit to the region and his statements in front of the pro-Israeli lobby, AIPAC, were not reassuring to most Arabs. But any agreement with the Palestinian people must preserve Israel's identity as a Jewish state with secure, recognized, defensible borders. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel and it must remain undivided. Many in the Middle East wonder whether Barack Obama will keep his election time promise to remove all American troops from Iraq within 16 months of his inauguration by May 2010. Iraqis want their sovereignty and all eyes in the Middle East will be focused on the new U.S. president to see if he'll keep that promise. I tell them that our nation will crush any force trying to hamper its progress and it will stand in the face of anyone trying to act maliciously against it. Early indications point to the re-election of Ahmadinejad as president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. In 2008, Iran avoided being bombed either by Israel or the United States. How Obama handles Ahmadinejad and prevents Iran from joining the nuclear club will be his biggest challenge in the region. During his election campaign, Obama reiterated his plan to shift more troops to Afghanistan and hunt down bin Laden. Will Obama succeed where Bush failed in getting the number one man on the FBI's most wanted list? Meanwhile, Hamid Karzai has been asking for a timetable for the withdrawal of foreign troops from Afghanistan. Just like Iraq, Afghanistan wants its sovereignty back. Finally, the war on terror, a phrase coined by the Bush administration, has been an abject failure. Terror attacks might have been on the decrease in Iraq. However, terrorist organizations such as Al-Qaeda never existed in Iraq before the invasion. Terrorism has been spreading throughout the region from Iraq to Syria, Lebanon and Northern Africa. Obama will have to elicit the full support of Arab and Muslim countries to win the so-called war on terror. Terrorism can only be defeated from within. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir. Our first January report will come to you from the historic city of Bethlehem. 
keep watching. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.